Hello and welcome to Dyson Demons. I'm Emma and in this video I want to show you yet another paint scheme for my Sisters of Battle. So yesterday I showed you a video of how, of how I paint a pink and black Sister of Battle like this. And uh, a lot of people uh, really liked it and I do too. I think she looks pretty cool. I did however also ask my very very supportive wife what she thinks and she said well it's pretty very pretty a little bit boring I mean not boring boring but like it, it looks a lot like other stuff I've painted before and uh, I kind of see what she means so uh, I set myself a challenge of painting something that would look more different to uh, other stuff I have painted in the past and I came up with this color scheme so it's a little bit difficult to tell I do not have the best webcam in the world uh, but it is a metallic turquoise uh, armor and then a uh, yellow orange cloak so uh, this is uh, this is something completely different and uh, now I have to try and decide between these two color schemes I am um, I think that I um I think that the the pur purple pink one is the sort of prettiest like yeah pretty I, I just think she looks nice and cool and pretty whereas I think the other one is a little bit more um I don't know she's a little bit more bold and a little bit less just straight up pretty so um but perhaps a little bit more fun I think also so I don't uh, now I don't know which one to which one to choose um they were both really fun to paint and I think I spent uh, approximately the same amount of time painting them so that is definitely not what it's going to uh, decide for me so uh, I am really hoping that at the that the people in the comment section of this video will help me decide because now I uh, yeah I don't know what to do do you think I should go for a third test model I'll end up having like 20 different sisters all painted in these really crazy weird color schemes and um, not that that's a bad thing um though eventually I would actually like a playable army so I don't know but um, in this video however I'm going to show you how I painted this one the metallic turquoise and the uh, orange and yellow cloak so I start off as I always do with a model that's been primed using the Wraithbone spray and then I just paint the uh, cloth with the yand and yellow contrast paint. I love uh, contrast paints and especially this yellow one. I mean yellow can be so difficult to paint and this just goes on really nicely in just one coat. Awesome. Then I start painting the armor and here I am using a blue metallic color from Green Stuff World and it's called Aqua Turquoise. Um, I, it's the first time I'm using it, I just had to get it. I mean, aqua turquoise, it, it sounds like something I should be really happy with, right? And then I start painting over that with another contrast paint. This is Athematic Blue. I thought that the, uh, the uh, aqua turquoise middle color looked pretty cool, but I also wanted to give it more definition and more color. And then I go back over it again in the recesses with the contrast paint called Pterodon Turquoise. And as you can see, I also add a little bit of cross hatching to the, uh, to the armor as well, just to give an illusion of shadow and a little bit more depth to it as well. Then I grab my Griff Hound Orange, also a contrast paint, and I start doing cross hatching on the cloth. And I do more cross hatching here on the cloth than on the armor because I want the cloth to be uh, the thing that stands out with the texture. I think the uh, the armor itself has a bunch of stuff going on with the metallic uh, shine, uh, whereas the uh, the cloth will only have the texture that I give it using the cross hatching. So uh, I I'm I'm spending a lot more time on the cloth here than on the armor, and I also do a sort of a dark edge highlight here, as you can see, just to give a really nice definition. Then I grab my Stormhost Silver, I think it's the brightest silver color I've got, and use that for doing some highlights on the armor. And as you can see, I'm trying to not go overboard with it. I want it to be, you know, a blue armor with just a hint of highlights and not a silver armor with just a touch of blue. So I try to be a little bit careful with it. And again, using slightly a little bit of cross hatching to do, uh, to, to make the highlights. Then I go back over the cloth and this time I am using Flash Kids Yellow from Citadel. And as you can see, I am both doing cross hatching and I'm also doing edge highlights. 
Um, I, I know it gives it a bit of a cartoonish look with these really sharp uh, edge highlights, but uh, I, I just really enjoy that look, so that's what I'm doing. And the very last touch here is a bit of Wraithbone, just to make some of the edges appear really nice and sharp and highlighted as well. I The same goes for this as for the armor, I try to do it uh, with moderation. Uh, this is actually an instance of less is more, that is not usually something I use when painting, but I sometimes try to apply it when I'm doing highlights. And here you can see the finished model. And um, I think she looks really fun and cool. And uh, I mean, I could see myself do, do an entire army like this. Um, I mean, it would, it would take some time, but this is not, I mean, this is not a color scheme or a painting scheme that would take, you know, 10 hours per model. I think I spent three or four hours painting this one and, and this was a test model. I could probably do it faster if I was doing batch painting. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, but I had fun with it and I think she definitely stands out from the rest of my models. She doesn't look like my Orc army or my Necrons or anything. And you can see her next to the uh, pink and purple black one I painted yesterday. So um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I really like the look of, look of both of them. Um, someone also suggested on social media that I just kept both color schemes and then had them in two different uh, groupings. So like one could be the altar of our martyred lady and then one could be bloody rose or something like that. Um, I don't know. I like the idea of having just one huge army all of the same color scheme. Um, but on the other hand, I also do like the idea of using both of these. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do. Uh, but I would really like your uh, your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, that would really uh, be very, very helpful. So uh, if you want to uh, follow my work, you can, of course, uh, stay tuned here on this channel. And I hope you will consider liking this video and subscribing. But you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, also as Dyson Demons. So uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it was uh, useful or a little bit inspirational or just fun to watch. Uh, so I hope to see you back for my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.